Hi there, Mary Henry, and this is the Bite and Hypermobility screen. So this is a way to look for hypermobility, which is having too much range of motion, okay? Now, in some contexts where you need high performance levels of flexibility for things like gymnastics or dance or performances, uh, that can be good, but for the average person, having more than ideal levels of flexibility can actually increase your risk for joint injury. And so the idea with this is we wanna look at different joints and see is there a trend towards having laxity of the ligaments where they're just too loose. Okay, uh, so with this here, uh, what you want to do is you're doing this is keep score. So we're going to start with the pinky. What you want to do is see how far can you bend back your pinky. Okay, uh, if you can get your pinky to come back to about a 90 degree bend, uh, then you give yourself a point. And then you try the same thing with the other pinky. Okay, now a key thing for all of these is to recognize that everyone's pinky will go back to 90 degrees if you give it enough force. But that's not the goal. The goal is just to see can you comfortably do that? Yes or no. So if you do both pinkies, you could have anywhere from zero to two points. The next one we look at is the thumb. You want to take your thumb and see if you can touch your forearm. Okay, now this is where a smart aleck will be like, yep, I can do that, no problem. What we're looking for is can you touch your thumb to the, the forearm on the same side? Okay, and you can see I can't do that. If you can do that, you give yourself a point and then you quickly check the other thumb. The next one we're going to look at is the elbow, and we're looking for can you hyperextend your elbow joint. So if you can see, for example, I can't hyperextend my elbow joint. It goes straight, it doesn't go into hyperextension. Okay? If I grab these dumbbell handles here, right? Uh, if this is kind of 90 degrees, right? There's 45, there's straight, okay? Hyperextension would mean going back about like that. Okay, uh, so if you can have your arm here and have your forearm kind of angling down, even while your upper arm is parallel, that would be uh, elbow hyperextension. If you're getting about 10 degrees, uh, give yourself a point for both or each elbow, depending on what you have. Then you're gonna do the exact same thing at the knees. So you're gonna see, okay, how straight can I get my knee? Okay, if you're doing this by yourself, you're gonna need a mirror uh, or film yourself and then see, uh, can I hyperextend my knee? So again, I've got that angle of about 10 degrees. And you don't have to be super precise with this, uh, but if you're like, wow, I can actually hyperextend that a fair bit, give yourself a point for each knee, if that's the case with both knees. It might be one knee and not the other. The final one we're gonna look at is the toe touch. Now, a good kind of guideline of, of, of general functioning is the ability to touch your toes, okay? And so that's, that's generally good. Uh, however, if you can have your knees straight, okay, and you can get down and get your palms flat on the floor, to do that, usually that will require hypermobility of your lower back, your lumbar spine, and that's been shown in research, with research by Dr. Sue McGill to be a risk increased risk factor for low back problems. And so for most people, we don't want to have so much mobility in the low back that you can get your palms flat on the floor. If you can, you give yourself a point. So once you've done these tests, we've got each pinky, we've done the thumb to the forearm on each side, so we could have up to four points. We check each elbow out, we check each knee out, we check the toe touch, uh, yes or no, with the palms flat on the floor. Um, once we've done those, then we can add up our score. If you're seeing a score of about five points or higher, that indicates that there's this trend of hypermobility in your body. And again, this could be because of genetics. Uh, this could be because of an injury. For example, if you've ever rolled your ankle, you have extra laxity there, and that could result in that. Uh, if this is the case, then this is where strength training, hypertrophy, uh, stability training, all this can be helpful for you with um, giving you muscular support to protect uh, loose ligaments. Thanks for watching and all the best.